Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Empoli up against Inter. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? I think the front pair need to combine well today, both with their link-up play and their movement. And if the number 10 can also find space, he will create problems with his passing. And also watch out for the fullbacks who do love to get forward. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. An attractive match in store. And it's Inter who get the game underway. He takes aim. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, Inter have hit the heights in terms of scoring goals. Can't argue with that record. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. But it's the speed of their counter-attack that's been key to their success. They've been unstoppable at times this season. Moving into the advanced position. Dzeko. It's a neat move. Take it away. Vici. Well read to win possession back. Martinez. Looking for the right moment for that final pass. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Can he give them the lead? That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Jekko. Diligence. Well, that is how to play advantage. Brozovic. And pull back. Well read to ease the pressure. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Can he make it 
Disappointed with that pass. Pina Monti. He's in position. Pina Monti. Oh, blocked it! Well, that's got the crowd excited. Let's hope the delivery is good. Someone get on the end of this. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Shot attempted. Tremendous block. Well play stopped. It is a free kick. to make it 1-0 and danger still well able to survive that attacking push Skriniar well he likes to run at them and it crossed the touch line so a throw in here Federico Di Francesco. Andrea Pinamonti. Not showing good defensive judgment. Chavanoru. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Martinez. It might be. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. the flow of the game. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here. And you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. 
Well deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Well, we're almost at the halfway stage and they're not making home advantage work for them one little bit here. Stuart, your assessment. Well, they've been poor in the first half. Their passing's been too slow, their movement's not been dynamic enough and they've been sloppy defensively. I'm sure though... Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. Can he find the net? And pushed onto the woodwork. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Well, as you can see now, he's just offside. It was very tight, mind you. So, half-time here and Inter find themselves in front. What have you made of them? Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Nedim Bayrami. Simon Zhurkovsky. And the ball with Stojanovic. Ricci. Well, that is how to play advantage. And giving the ball away. Barella. We're getting the ball forward. Chance to play it in. They've given it away. That's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. By Rami. Can they prize them open now? Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Oh, the flag's gone off, and there wasn't much in that. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Barella. It's with Milan Skriniar. Barella has it. Federico Di Francesco. Just cutting off the supply. Vecino, and a strong tackle, 30 minutes left for play, a sloppy pass, Brozovic, Vecino on the ball, Inter have given away possession, now, counter-attacking possibilities here. By Rami. Inter with the ball once more. Martinez. Ivan Perisic. And an easy one to cut out, really. in the middle can they get in behind them oh big opportunity a 
that's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. chance for him. Well, although he was always going to be second to the ball, the defender just about did enough to stop him getting a clean header there. Ivan Perisic. Vecino on the ball. Correa. Jacko. Cutrone. A very good tackle. Barella. Can they find a gap in the defence? It might be on for them. Well read to put an end to that attack. Can he convert? Made sure nothing came of that. Now there to intercept. Ricci. Had to beat your opponent. Now he must favour the cross. And they'll get ready for the throw in. But approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Jacko. And continues his run. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Nicolas Haas. And there goes the final whistle. The Inter fans full of the joys because it's three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward, have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.